you want to start with 3D printing and you are looking for a brand new 3D printer. Where are you going to look for? In this video, I'm going to talk all about it. How to look for your very first 3D printer without spending too much money or maybe a little bit more, but getting a decent machine right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here. You know, I have been there where you are, looking for the right 3D printer. And there are so many choices. Maybe you already have looked on AliExpress or on Amazon or some other websites, but you cannot find out which kind of 3D printer is perfect for you. I've been there as, as well. I bought my very first 3D printer for like less than 100 euros. It was a crap 3D printer. And I want to avoid you making the same mistake, finding out which one fits perfect for you. So the very first thing to look for, the budget. What is your budget? How much money are you going to spend for your very first 3D printer? But a little warning, don't go too low on the price because printers under the price of 100 USD are usually made out of very low quality components. And before you know it, the printer is broken or you have several other issues which you cannot solve and you have some wasted money. So to avoid that, the printers that I'm going to cover in this video are from 150 USD and up. I have from several 3D printer brands, major brands that I am very familiar with and that I have their products also know that they are good. Besides the price, what else do you look for? Don't go for printers that are too complicated. Unless you are an engineer, you have a very high technical skill set, then it's all fine. But a printer like this one, it's a Delta 3D printer. It can be very complicated if you have to level the bed. We have also something called a Core XY 3D printer. Something like this 3D print, that's a Core XY. The X and the Y axis are working together on the horizontal plane. For a Delta 3D printer, all three axes are working together. The X, the Y and the Z axis to move the tool head, the print head. The Core XY and the Delta printer I wouldn't recommend for a brand new 3D printer beginner because those are going to cause a lot of frustration and a lot of trouble in the end, which you want to avoid. You want to have a decent start with 3D printing and also the convenience. Some of the 3D printers have a system called ABL, Auto Bed Leveling. Some of the cheaper machines don't have this function and you need to manually level the bed. So meaning a piece of paper underneath the nozzle and the print bed and then trying to get the nozzle as close to the print bed without ripping the paper and providing a nice first layer. For you as a beginner, I would suggest finding a 3D printer that has a ABL system right on there. So with these kind of small tips, let's go to the brands and talk all about those 3D printers, which one suits the best for this kind of search. The first one is the Creality and the 3 V3 second edition. It's now at this moment a price 179 USD. Normally this 3D printer is 249 US dollars. It is an easy printer to get started. Worrying free auto bed leveling has a printing volume of 220 times 220 times 250 millimeters in the Z height. This is a direct drive 3D printer, auto filament loading and unloading. Most of those machines from nowadays have a feature where you can auto load and unload the filament, the PLA or the PET G filaments. Getting started within 20 minutes. Also a thing to think about if you're going to buy a brand new 3D printer and you are a beginner, look for something that is easy to set up, which doesn't give you any hustle. The assembly of this 3D printer is in around the 10 minutes. The auto bed leveling, you don't have to do that. You only select it during the setup of the 3D printer in the menu and the printer does do it for you. The only thing that you need to do afterwards is uh, loading the filaments. And according to Creality, in something like two minutes, you are done with feeding your printer. Printers are getting hungry, so feed them a little bit of plastic. They like that. Let's go to the next one, the Creality Ender 3 V3 KA. The version that I have is basically the same kind of 3D printer that, uh, that I talked about, the SE, the second edition. But this one runs on something called Clipper. What does that mean? The printer runs faster than the second edition. You can add it to Wi-Fi. And so sending your SDL files, you can slice in Creality Print and send it over Wi-Fi directly to your 3D printer and then 
it is going to print it for you. So very nice, very cool. So 249 USD, but the normal actual price is 329 USD. But this machine, very nice, very cool uh, and fast. So the next brand, Anycubic. The Anycubic Cobra 2 Pro. This is an awesome machine, 10 times fast 3D printer. Uh, maximum print speed 500 millimeters per second this 3d printer comes also with an auto bed leveling system price of this 3d printer is normally 341 usd but now also running a discount sale for 259 usd the printing volume of this 3d printer 220 times 220 times 250 millimeters Printing speed, 500 millimeters per second. These are all the components of the 3D printer. This, this machine, you need to assemble a little bit more, but I think the user manual guides you exactly how to assemble this 3D printer. So for 249 USD at this moment, but normal standard price, 341 USD. So Anycubic also recently uh, launched the Anycubic Cobra 3. I'm talking about the Cobra 3, not the combo. You can also buy the combo it comes then also with a multicolor functionality but at this moment i'm going to just highlight this 3d printer the normal price of this this 3d printer is 369 usd but at this moment 339 us dollars this has a printing volume of 250 times 250 times 260 millimeters so it's a little bit bigger than the previous mentioned anycubic 3d printer so smart multicolor printer printing is possible so you can add a AMS kind of unit to this 3D printer, attach it and then have a multicolor 3D printer. This 3D printer runs also on Clipper, a little bit more advanced and uh, fast as well. 600 millimeters per second printing speed, auto bed leveling is on there, vibration compensation is on there as well. So getting way smoother print results when print printing in higher speeds. Auto bed leveling, auto Z offset, quick swap nozzle if needed. Check it out on the, in the description of this video. Check the link and uh, see for yourself if you like this one. Elegoo. Elegoo has some amazing 3D printers as well. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the 199 USD 3D printer of them, the Neptune 3 Pro. It's a very basic 3D printer. The printing volume of this 3D printer is 225 times 225 times 280 millimeters. It has an auto bed leveling system. It has a PEI magnetic platform. It's a build plate. You take it off the print bed, you flex the bed a little bit, so bend it a little bit, and then your 3D model comes off the build plate. Just clean it a little bit, put it back on your 3D printer, hit print, and a new print starts. Very convenient. Here is also filament run out sensor, the direct drive. So let's talk about the next Elegoo 3D printer, the Neptune 4. It's an upgraded 3D printer. It has a bigger parts cooling fan. It is still a direct drive. It is capable of printing in higher temperatures. For 229 USD, uh, is it, this is an amazing 3D printer. Speed up 3D printer printing with Clipper. So this 3D printer comes with Clipper. That is also very cool. But basically this 3D printer is the upgraded version from the one that we talked about before. So if you, if you need to choose between a printer of 200 USD or 230, I think the choice is obvious. The link is in the, in the description of this video. The brand Prusa Research is a very uh, big and famous company and uh, they are located in Europe. And because of that, the prices from those 3D printers are a bit higher than the ones that I mentioned before, because those brands are located in China. I'm talking now first about the Prusa Mini Plus kit. These are 3D printers that you are building from scratch. You get the parts and you follow the manual and you build the printer step by step. I think my honest opinion that this way you learn how this printer is assembled, how this printer looks like from the inside. I mean, that would be cool. So if you're buying something like this, it costs a little bit more time, not a little bit, a whole lot more time. Something like this is built in, I think like three hours. And then you have a Prusa Mini. This 3D printer, 429 USD. It comes with an out-of-bed leveling. This 3D printer is a Bowden style 3D printer, meaning that the extruder is mounted on the side and with a Bowden tube, it feeds into the hot end in the nozzle and then printing on the print bed. We have another machine from Prusa. 
it says their latest is the original Prusa MK4. Also, this one is a kit 3D printer. There are possibilities to get the assembled uh, versions, but they are high in price because people at Prusa are building this printer. The only thing that you need to do is open the box, take the printer out, set it up and then start printing. This 3D printer has a kit version, 799 US dollars. Let's go to the next one. So the very last one is from Bamboo Labs. It is a company that has some amazing 3D printers. I also have one, the P1S with AMS, so multicolor printer. But for this video, I'm going to talk about the A1 Mini. It is a small 3D printer and it has a printing volume of 180 times 180 times 180. This is a very simple machine, but don't let the simplicity fool you because this 3D printer is a uh, stuffed with tech you have here an lcd touchscreen it has already a wi-fi functionality built in and also this 3d printer is fast you have also the possibility to add a multicolor to it you pay 436 euros yeah it's a very nice deal you have a combo package um you add it to your 3d printer to your a1 mini and you have the possibility to print in four different colors at the same time so all, all printers that I have mentioned in this video, all links I'm going to put in the description of this video. Check for yourself, read everything and make your own choice. There are so many 3D printers nowadays, it is very hard to choose. But you need to check your budget and your skill set. And what do you want to do? Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Hey, check out the Creality KA review right over here.